again, once again, Sandeep, Sandeep Gulani over here from Compute Drive System, Kolkata, India. And uh, thanks to all the viewers for your wonderful response. Uh, you really gave me uh, time to time and write wonderful uh, compliments at time to time, uh, which gives energy to really come up with new videos and new concepts of uh, helping you out in uh, chip level troubleshooting and repairing process. So, this time, this, especially this year 2014, I want to make a remembrance in uh, uh, chip level repair work. So, I am, I'm coming up with a workshop, uh, chip level repair workshop of laptop, which will be carried out in, uh, from 1st to 3rd of uh, August 2014. So, I have got a wonderful response uh, to Facebook, uh, uh, where almost people from Bombay, Delhi, Punjab, Hyderabad, Madras, people are coming out. And uh, just to make you believe that uh, I guarantee it will boost your laptop troubleshooting and repairing process by 50%. And uh, not only that, it will also increase your productivity. Uh, say suppose if you are giving up maybe two or three laptops per day it can enhance your productivity because the easier way I'll be telling you how to troubleshoot the process now the areas what I'll be covering up I'll just give out a brief outline what the areas I'll be covering up you can also visit to my Facebook account and uh, you can also see out over there and uh, the areas what I'll be covering up I'm just uh, going through the outlines uh, First part will be generally we mostly use multimeters with the voltage and continuity that's all nothing we do more because most of the uh, time I see videos in the YouTube of different people uh, I find say like a multimeter is a very simple and uh, what do you call maybe 200 300 rupees multimeter what I find so uh, the multimeter features the special multimeter features which will be something like the DC current the frequency the logic concepts the duty cycle, the resistance, the capacitance of a capacitor, the ESR of a capacitor really which is creating a uh, havoc uh, problems as far as uh, today's world is concerned and inductance followed by using of CRO in laptop troubleshooting and diagnostic process. So this will be my area number one where the top and everything whatever will be I'll be saying I won't be talking about the theoretical concept of this. I'll be just showing you the practical way of how we use these functions in our multimeter and day-to-day -day troubleshooter in our troubleshooting process. The laptops which I'll be using up during this particular process will be from the dual core 2, i3 and i5 laptops and all. Uh, understanding, I'll also try to make you understand the uh, understanding the circuit diagram, following the circuit diagram and the physical layout of the motherboard and relating them together and uh, so that because it's a very very important concept of understanding the electronic circuitry because unless you really understand because if one small uh, motherboard of laptop which is nothing but approximately around 60 to 100 pages of uh, circuit diagram which we have to zoom it and see it out so until one understands this particular uh, circuits and all it's really very very difficult to repair in chip level concepts and all. Then, Understanding the power supply section and the power distribution of the uh, laptop motherboard uh, which is again one of the important area where you find the most of the problem comes out with the power supply section around 40 percent of the uh, repairs generally come out from the comes out from the power supply section so that is the again one more area where I'll be you know, giving up a lot of stress over there and whatever I'll be doing it up I'll be showing up practically uh, hands to hand. Again, say like understanding next will be the understanding the VIP signals because many a time we just say out oh, maybe my north bridge is faulty or my south bridge is faulty and I have seen many people also plugging out and placing and all, uh, rewalling and placing it out and all. So if we can be more confident about whatever we are uh, doing, I think that will be more uh, helpful to our uh, repairing process. So the VIP, understanding those VIP signals and then uh, working with those uh, VIP signals and uh, doing the troubleshooting process because if I say the north bridge is faulty it is not very simple and just uh, go and replace it you should be confirmed say like yes that is the place where you are going to replace and that should be the work done 
it should not be again after replacing the south bridge oh it was somewhere in the north bridge and also on so that should not be the uh, case so understanding those vip signals then i'll be also covering up some time on uh, the smd shouldering and the bga shouldering where i'll be uh, showing up the bga reboiling process and all and uh, many people have seen they are using of uh, these days different bga reboiling stations and all so i'll be also covering up with my experience of 24 years of shouldering what i do it and all Uh, which can be again one more uh, very uh, helpful uh, case uh, or studies what you will be getting it out then uh, i'll be also covering up to the area something like the room the cmos the rtc which are again a complicated areas where, which are creating problem these days uh, quite a lot and uh, i'll be also covering up with the area something like the removal of passwords and all uh, you might have seen in some of the laptops which comes up these days and uh, one more thing uh, which i want to cover uh, practically last day which i'll be covering uh, practically a uh, few of the cases of laptop where especially no switching takes place or it switches on but uh, it doesn't gets on and switch on but it's uh, then again you know, switches off after maybe few seconds or so so these are the special areas i'll be covering up uh, on this particular three days so these are the areas these are the some of the outlines what i've just said to you Uh, will be the uh, areas what I'll be covering up, and you can see almost I'm covering up everything. So people, those who are uh, really into electronics and uh, are into chip level repairing of desktop and laptop and all, maybe up to some extent, it will be a very, 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 very useful uh, workshop for you all. Now, the uh, workshop dates again I'll be just repeating is are uh, repeating up our. From 1st to 3rd of August 2014, it will be full day. We'll be starting up around maybe 10. Uh, we'll meet at 9:30 so that we can start up by 10, and we'll finish it by 5:00, 5:30 in the evening. And these three, three days, that is, I think it's coming up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, will be uh, with this particular workshop. And um, uh, I really, again, once more, I promise you. that a guaranteed boost to your uh, laptop chip level troubleshooting and repairing process will take place and uh, i'll be putting up my 24 years g stop 24 years in this 3 days workshop now who are eligible i really request all the engineers those who are working in some mncs mnc multinational companies or they are working with some brands maybe asus or maybe asrock or maybe msi the different brands uh, you all also can come out and you will find yes this workshop is uh, really helpful and also increase up your productivity day to day productivity what you are carrying out so and we, i also request all the faculty members those who are teaching all over india uh, to join up this particular thing because uh, you require really power of uh, teaching once you are teaching this particular subject now uh, Uh, what are the eligibility as i said you the eligibility must be something like the candidate must have the knowledge in electronics and uh, must be into chip level repairing of laptop and desktop and also the workshop venue will be computerized system office itself and uh, as today what i am seeing that number of candidates uh, from all around india uh, i have not got any uh, info from outside india yet uh, just 3 days have passed out in facebook i have put it up and uh, i'm hoping some people from even outside are coming out so from india what i've got a good and wonderful response and uh, if the number of candidates are more than probably i have to shift up instead of from my office i have to shift it up somewhere else uh, that will take care of uh, and as far as the people those who will be coming out to, to calcutta because the workshop will be carried out in kolkata india so for them i'll be keeping Uh, for the rather they for for the staying purpose i'll be booking up some rooms over here which i'll be be sharing on the sharing basis we'll be staying up the rooms will be booked for 5 days because depending upon your tickets you may be either coming up one day earlier or you may be going up one day later because reservation of tickets are really tough so you have plenty of time august 1st 2nd and 3rd so you can just book up your tickets and reserve your seats over here The workshop fees will be uh, rupees ten thousand, and uh, in Indian rupee, 
and rupees, uh, not rupees, rather 2,000, uh, uh, 200 USD dollars for the foreign candidates. And uh, the workshop, as I said, will be from morning 10 to evening uh, 5. We call snacks and all will be there. And after lunch, you will be having it with me all together. We'll be having all together. And uh, the uh, as far as the night foods and all are concerned, that you have to arrange up yourself. A lot of hotels and all are there over here. Uh, Steam, I'll be arranging it up. Yes, if you want to stay up in some hotel and all, they are also nearby. Uh, that is, if you want to stay up alone or something, I'll be also giving up uh, a free technical DVD of almost uh, two DVDs will come out approximately of 10 GB. So I'll be also giving up those things uh, during this workshop. And uh, I'll also request you that maybe your friends, those who are there in your cities, you can come together. You can learn together and uh, serve your city uh, and improve your productivity uh, in your city. So, hope I will be collecting up all the engineers from all around India and uh, maybe out of India uh, during this uh, first, second, and third workshop uh, on laptop chip level drop tuning and repairing. And all the classes will be taken by me. So, I will be just gisting out this 24 years of my experience in three days and uh, because my long-term courses are really very long which is of 18 months uh, it is a very uh, lengthy process so it's a request from many 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 users that if you can do something in maybe a very short span so this is the plan which I have come out with and hope really I just challenge you that it will be a wonderful workshop uh, which you will remember it and uh, you will benefit by at least 50%. Whatever you are doing, that will be an extra 50% to your productivity and your troubleshooting and repairing process. So, with the hope that you, with your friends, will be coming out to Kolkata. Have a wonderful Kolkata, look out to Kolkata. Maybe you can stay one day extra and have a look to Kolkata also and uh, I tr I'll try to build up a chip level uh, three days workshop for all India Hippipuri and uh, Jai Hind let's celebrate first, second and third as chip level day thank you